Hello, welcome to this lesson. Here we're going to continue working these problems with a normal distribution, and we have one uh, up here on the board. We see that ACT scores, which is a standardized test, uh, are normally distributed with a mean of 24.2, that's the mean test score, and a standard deviation of 4.2. So that might be something else that surprises you. These standardized test scores are normally distributed, much like body temperatures and other things. You see how so many different things are normally distributed. Um, you're always going to have a peak where most of your students are kind of clustered, but then you're going to have outliers on both sides that are going to fall away in the shape of that normal distribution. So the question is, what is the probability that a student, a randomly drawn student, scores greater than 31? Greater than 31. So as before, let's write down what we know. The mean is 24.2. The standard deviation is 4.2. So if we wanted to draw and we almost always do want to draw a quick picture of what's going on here, then we can draw a normal distribution like this. All right, falls off like this. The mean value at this distribution is given at 24.2. Standard deviation is 4.2 points, so 4.2 points above and 4.2 points below, uh, below the mean. So we want to find what is the probability that the um, score is greater than 31 for a randomly drawn student. So what we're after is this right here because it's greater than 31. We're after that shaded area. All right, so what we want to do is calculate the z-scores or the z-score of this value that we're interested in. So the z-score is x minus mu, which is the mean, divided by the standard deviation, 31 minus the mean, 24.2, over the standard deviation, which is 4.2. And that gives us a z-score. When you do the subtraction and the division, uh, that gives us a z-score of 1.62. 1.62. So ultimately, what we're tasked with, you can kind of think of it as this z-score corresponds to this number right here. What we're tasked with is finding the probability that a randomly chosen student, so we say random variable x, is greater than 31, randomly chosen from a population of students that have taken the test, right? Which is exactly the same thing saying, hey, what's the probability of a z-score off that table being greater than 1.62? So this is how we translate it from the real world where we're talking about randomly drawn student, our random variable being greater than 31, which is our test score. We translate it into a problem involving z-scores, right? Now we cannot read uh, uh, areas greater than z off of that table. We have to change it as we've been doing in the past to z being less than negative 1.62. And we've explained why in the past. And so whenever you look that up, you will find that the probability 